Namaste, welcome. Hi. Om. Ego has only to be punctured. That's the good news, you see. You cannot remove anything which has no value. I mean, even if you were to destroy a mountain, it may take minutes, hours, days for it to completely subside, even with the biggest amount of dynamite. And where will the remnants of the mountain go, you see? Where will it go? Even if the explosion was so vast that it blew the mountain into the air, where would the mountain go? The mountain still exists somewhere. There are fragments of the mountain that exists. Nothing can be permanently removed, you see. So even the, the experience of awakening being over in a second what was over the thing that was destroyed the ego where did it go you see it didn't just disappear you see it is no value anyway so if it is no value anyway what was the point of worrying about it in the first place you see but now that we're all worried about this ego Ego is worried about itself because it is taking humans to, 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 to destruction. It is taking the civilization of human beings to destruction. So it is worried about itself. And it's no value. But it must have some value, you see. Ego has to have value. The value of ego is the value of seeing that it's no good. <laughs> you don't know if the lemon is sour to the child. It does not know what sour means until it puts its tongue to the lemon. I don't like that. It's sour, you see. What does sour mean? It means So the value of ego is exactly the same value as God. The same value as everything. That is why it does, it wants to remove itself. But it knows that the body and mind are useless without it. We need some, some kind of identity. Whether it is a visual identity, whether it is a sense, a hearing identity, whatever it is, we need to know that we are separate. But we, when we become overly separate, we're unbalanced. We're completely unbalanced. So ego, whether it is punctured and it slowly deflates and takes years, or whether it is blown up with dynamite, it doesn't matter, you see. The only thing that will appear different is the experience. One is being and one is being. Both are valid, you see. And both cannot be denied. One day you go into the roller coaster and you want to go around the big wheel. You want to experience that. The next time, you want to experience the whole ride, you know. You want to experience the just being free, you see. No two experiences are the same. And for some, and this is a very important point, because until enlightenment comes, you do not know how long you have been in this earth. And how many bodies, or even if you are only in one body, how much information 
ego has tried to store you see if we're let's take it hypothetically we only live once in a body two people same age 40 years old both went to same school both had similar parenting both had similar upbringings like very identical but ego in one is secretly gorging you know gorging i, I want yeah information 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 from there from here from everywhere and the other one is really you know taking on so much you know nothing is visible you see this learning is not visible this experience is not visible so when this ego dissolution comes it will depend on itself the ego will know how much it can cope with so the one who has been gorging, 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 it has to be punctured, you see, because it's not going to survive the dynamite, you know. The one who is taking, it can be exploded. Not so big explosion, you see. How much air do you put in the balloon, you see? very very scientific awakening and enlightenment but it's not and very enlightening science but it's not and the purpose when the balloon has been gone what remains is what remains you see the truth remains all the truth that is trying to be gorged or taken very slowly are fragments of truth, you see. We cannot deny truth anywhere. All fragments of truth, you see. But they can be judged. No, I don't think that's true. It's only, uh, it's not as good as this one, you see. This fragment is bigger, you see. So this one must be truer, you see. So when all these fragments of truth that you have been carrying maybe 20 percent truth and you're full no more ego please no more ego no more ego gone and what remains all the truth that was already there that you have been sucking in, in bit by bit fragments. When you are born into this body as a baby, you are 100% empty, 100% clean. Truth is you, within you, and truth is out with you. But as an adult, when you become a child, education, you think that you are not the truth and the truth is out with you there's no truth inside all outside so you start sucking in external truth internal truth gets squashed and squashed and squashed you see no more balanced body no more balanced mind just greed and suffocation from one truth over another. Both truth. The mind in this one now says this, you see. One, there is a, a reflection of when I was studying, you see, as a child, as a teenager at school. And how difficult it would be to become a scientist, or dif how difficult it would be to become a very intelligent academic person mind, you see. I was in an admiration of 
all these intelligent professors and people and and wow you know I'm just gonna be like a welder you know that's all I'm capable of now intelligence does not exist the simplest one who lives the simplest life has to be the most intelligent you see the simplest one who looks for nothing seeks nothing accepts everything surely this is intelligence can you see this when it is broken down into this simple fragment of truth You must be the most intelligent to do nothing and experience everything. Surely, am I fooling myself that you have to try and harder and harder and harder and learn and learn and soak up? To learn that simply there is nothing to do and that simplicity is simply here and you are the simple, simple truth. What is the difference between simple truth and total truth, you see? The same. So why do we seek for simplicity? Why do we seek for freedom? Why do we seek for emptiness, harmony, peace? Surely it's simply here. Am I a fool? Or what? Who am I? Who am I that sees like this? I don't know, you see. I simply, simply don't know. Namaste. I love you.